What's up, y'all? Welcome to the first episode of Watch, Watch Your, Your Tone with Eliza 1K and Ice Villa. Yeah, shout out La Conecta. Yes, Hello. Yes, as you can see behind us. Shout out all the cuz. Hello. All the Edgars and the Hachito mm-hmm. girls. Yeah, period. Because so, the Hachito girls don't have a name yet, but we'll figure it out. They're going to be named after me. <laughs> <laughs> You're Eliza. like an Eliza. <laughs> But, um, yeah, since this is our first episode, um, yeah, so we're going to start off with a little prayer, you know. Yes, yes. Thank you, God, for every opportunity, you know, thank you for blessing us with your favor, your mercy, your grace, guide us, and amen. 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 Sorry, I'm not a preacher, (laughs) but let's let's get straight into it. So, a very, very hot topic. Has been is Marbach considered the <laughs> West Side, and we got a Marbachian in the building. <laughs> bitch, bitch. She just uh, sorry, she just cut off her Edgar haircut right now. Yeah, her bowl. <laughs> but, um, she was going ham, cheese, crackers, no bologna. Nice. About how it's the West Side. So, well, I feel like part of Marbach is West Side. Like obviously where it begins, because there's Marbach from like Westwood going all the way down to like 1604 and i feel like westwood specifically i would consider that the west side because you go down westfield and it's right there old highway 90 like that's the 90 like that's the west side you know but as far as like going like adams hill and what is the fuck i don't even know the other neighborhoods but it's like nice ass neighborhoods down marbach in 1604 like that's not the west side so not all of marbach is but some people were like, Westwood's not the West Side. And I'm like, yes, it is. Because if you ask anybody who grew up in West Side, like our parents and stuff, they'll tell you that that's the West Side. Because you keep going down military or you keep going down 90, it turns into Southwest. You know, yeah. Like, Shout out so. Southwest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, me. And then she, she was saying, too, that like on the map, it says like what far West Side or it says West Side? Oh, yeah. Like if you keep going down 90, like going towards Montgomery. Like going towards Cashville, it oh says <laughs> it says all of that is far west side, which it kind of do make sense because then Southwest is right there, you know, like where the jail is and all that. West, so is oh um, Garza, Dominguez, or Dominguez, Chico Garza, 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 Garza West. Garza. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, Mm-hmm. Me personally, I don't really have an opinion on um, Marbach being the West Side or not being the West Side. Because in my mind, like, baby, I'm Southwest and East Side. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, I'm finna yeah, slide, yeah. ride, homicide. <laughs> 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 Bitch. Yeah, you like, um, Nah, but I don't know. I never really thought about Marbach like that. But I would have never, like, if somebody was like, oh, like, what do you consider the West Side or where's the West Side? I would have, like thought about like where the courts is you know what i'm saying yeah, like, like that see. west side yeah and then and then that too like when i was defending like when i was like going back and forth for people some people were like you're, you're not from the west side defender <laughs> yeah they were like you're not from the west side and i'm like yeah bitch i am from the west side because yeah i read westwood or whatever like that's my neighborhood but i my family we grew up all the way from casi's like las palmas and we they still live there so we grew hey. up between that so i'm like bitch you can't tell me what i'm what i am and what i'm not bitch like whatever Bitch, I, I'm like, some of them, I'm like, y'all live in, by Lock and Terra. Oh, yeah. like, we for real. And what were they trying to say about Lock and Terra? Hmm? What were they saying about Lock and Terra? <laughs> no. <laughs> I thought everybody just started, like, defending where they're from and shit like that. They're all big north side. Yeah. yeah. Big Six Flags. Big Spurs Ranch. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, yeah, I saw it all over my timeline um, about everybody going crazy about Marbach being the West End and stuff. And then, of course, we got Miss Salido Siete <laughs> over here. So I already knew she was going crazy about it. What did she we do today, me. Icington? Um, well, we woke up. Uh, first thing first, we woke oh. up. Uh, we linked around like one ish, I would say. Got here at La Conecta, met up with Danny and Tina, um, and then hey. an Avid. And we went to go look at furniture for our new podcast room. Yes. Yep. Shout out um, Big Sexy K. She was also there with yes, us. Yes, 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 yes. And um, Little Ice Cube. Shout oh, out yeah, my baby. Um, but we were there looking for like little uh, kind of what we want the podcast to be visual wise. So we were like deciding on if we wanted like little desk or like little chairs and stuff because I mean, there's like different opportunities or not opportunities different possibilities and shit like that so what did you think about all that that we saw um 
I definitely liked that desk that we got. We got like a little like. L shaped desk so we could both like, sit it. on it. Yeah, <laughs> like that's a cute little um it's a cute little desk. And then there was like a little um like setup that they had there like that you could look at and it was like a little desk with like three little lounge chairs and I think that was cute. Like it was giving like like living room vibes like it was yeah cute. and so we were there i'm like anyways bitch I, so we were there <laughs> <laughs> I, don't even I, know, know even I don't even know how we got into the topic <laughs> <laughs> and then we were just like oh imagine like being british and going into like oh Desk because Delores avery was saying oh, mommy yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mommy so then i was like we're gonna go oh i was like we should be um we should act like we're British when we go in that bitch. <laughs> so she's like saying hello, hello. And I'm like, I would have been like, show me the thrones. <laughs> when you have the thrones. <laughs> I miss the, the queen. queen. <laughs> I'm like, does this come with tea? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Probably wasn't was that funny to you. <laughs> <laughs> It was funny. We were fucking we were, like dying. crying. We were <laughs> crying. Because I just like, if you don't know her, um, English people have queens. <laughs> but in San Antonio, we have reinas. <laughs> we have, no, but, oh, fuck. my God. Ooh, tough crowd. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn, nobody left. <laughs> oh, um, podcast things. Okay, on to the next. Got my text. Characters you will be unlocking throughout um, this season and everything. But in other news, there was um, a bridge collapsed. Like, oh, what yeah. is it, like two days ago or a day ago? I think like two days ago. In Merlin? Yeah. Um, no, that's what we, me and Kay were telling um, y'all Ooh. earlier that there's a scene in um, Leave the World Behind where he's, it's like, a guy just sitting on his bed and like you can look out his window and the the bridge is like right in front of him and it's like collapsed and there's is like that a at the beginning of the movie or the end of the movie or like midway? I think it's when like all that shit starts happening like all the chaos starts happening he's like looking out and it looks it, it kind of low-key looks like his house is just like in the middle of the water and he lives like by the bridge because it's literally just a big ass window and he's sitting oh. on the edge of his bed and it's a, like a cargo ship and the, the fucking bridge is like all broken and everything so yeah, and oh, the wow. producers like that pr- production um, company is ran by Obama. Oh yeah, I saw it. Or, or like it executive produced by him or some shit like that, right? So well, I don't know. I kind of feel like when it comes to the end of the world, um, knows. yeah. Damn bitch, you want to do the podcast <laughs> yourself or what the fuck? <laughs> no, but I kind of feel like in the end of the world, especially when it comes to like biblical wise, like we're never really gonna know because like in the Bible. I can't quote unquote it, but um, it says that like nobody will know that it's just gonna end. Yeah. Like God's just gonna come down on. Nobody his own. should know the hour, the day, all that shit. Yeah, so I just feel like I don't know. I think like I don't know. I don't think the world will end though, like the way that everybody thinks it's gonna end. And if it does end, how would we know? Like, what if it already ended? And this We're is a simulation. Uh, <laughs> I let you go. I don't now. know. My life's been pretty good. I don't know about <laughs> yours, but. <laughs> I have not been feeling like I'm living at home. But yeah, um, so we have a D baby show. The Berber. Oh, yeah, tomorrow. We have a D baby show tomorrow. Really exciting. If y'all don't know, insert clip non copyrighted <laughs> of the Berber. Um, he's a Houston artist. Shout out him. Yeah, Super I- fine. I Love his music. Big fan and what all I do not think he's cute. Oh, let's not get into what you yeah. think. It's cute vibes. <laughs> but speaking but, of it, so we have Der Berber, right? We well, we don't. I have him. All right. Anyways, um. <laughs> nah. So, um, uh, right now we had gotten from our what do you call him? Like the video man, All right. from Kid Avid. Shout out Kid Avid. He told us, um, who would we pick, the baby or that Mexican OT? But I feel like that's always being brought up. Just because they're both Mexican. Who would we pick, like, as far as, like, who we listen to? Like, who we pick, like, overall pick? Yeah, what are you trying to judge it on? Um, uh, Who do you pick? (laughs) Bungie. (laughs) This one here. Um, You already know I'm going to say OT just because. What is your reason? What's your reason? Honestly, I feel like I know more OT songs than D-Baby. 
Yeah. Like just overall, like as as a artist, I feel like I would pick OT. But D Baby's not bad though. Like I just like it. I don't know. I mean, I'm I like um, that Mexican OT and everything. I think he's a really dope artist. Very, out of the person. very. <laughs> I'm a, I think he's a really, really dope artist. Very versatile and shit, and um, definitely has he he earned his spot and everything like that. I just don't really know his songs like that. Like I I know like the ones that like everybody knows. Like the shout out TV Robbie, yeah. ow 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 ow, big two tits out the west. Um, so I know La Cobra. And then uh, I'm gonna fuck around. You know what I'm saying? I know that one. I know um, Virgil. Robbie produced that one? Yeah. Oh, that's okay. the. I'm going to Rob's house. Yeah. Yeah, that's Robbie. So shout out Robbie. Um, I know that one. I think the Virgil one. And then Twisting Fingers. That one, I think that's. I don't really know too much. So maybe that's why I feel like I, I would pick D Baby. But then it's also. I don't know. I like that. Like, I like D Baby personally. Sorry. Yeah, bust that out. Bust it out. Oh, the list. list. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> how do you feel about being viewed on social media versus in real life? I mean, I don't really care. Boring ass bitch. Let's pick another host. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, what do you, like, what do you mean by that? like, how do you feel? Like, what is the difference to you? Like, how do you feel like you're viewed on social media versus how you actually are? Like, how people think about you or what they think before they meet you. I feel like on social media, people see me as, like, mean. And a lot of people say that they see me as taller. And they meet me and they're like, oh, fuck, you're smaller. So like, like they're like, yeah, oh, yeah. shit, you're, like, really small. I've like, actually been told that about you. Really? Like, somebody <laughs> told me, that they're like, damn, like, I don't know why. Like, I didn't know she was going to be that little. <laughs> yeah. That little in cube. <laughs> She's like, oh, fuck okay, yeah, I'm being like a square. <laughs> I'm like, and then they said this, all right. Nah, um, but yeah, so being meaner and yeah, taller, like <laughs> chingu stallion. Yes. And then they meet me and they're just like, oh, like you're actually small. Like, and nice. you're not mean. And nice. Funny as fuck, yeah, and sexy. And oh, they didn't know you were that fine <laughs> person, bitch, please. Please, I por think, favor. I think with me, um, I don't know. I feel like now because of the whole TikTok thing. Before that, I think I was kind of giving people what it was. Like, people viewed me as really stiff and, like, kind of, like, just out the mix. And that's how it was. Like, I always been like, woo, woo. But I wouldn't, like, just be like that with just anybody. Yeah. Um. But now a lot of people view me because of social media. Like, they think when they meet me off rip that I'm going to just be like, oh, like, like, tell me a joke. Like. Bitch, what the fuck? Am I Kevin Hart? Like, okay, Cat Williams? Like, I'm not, like, a fucking stand-up comedian and shit. Who's there? Or, um... Or... <laughs> I'm a... Or, or, or. <laughs> I'm a, like, live at the zoo. Sorry. No, um... It just... Now, it kind of, like... I feel like the attention I get is different, obviously, than what it used to be. So, now, people don't even know me, and their thought is, like, oh, she's a stuck-up bitch. Or, oh, mm. she got follow Like... She got followers. Oh, bitch, you think you all that because you got followers and shit. Like, people be mad as fuck. And the whole time I'd be over here, like, bitch. not doing shit. Like, not yeah. even, like, nice. not a thought in my mind. Just thinking about sitting here, thinking about D-Baby and shit. This but, yeah. But it doesn't hurt my feelings or anything. I just kind of just be like, what the fuck? That's weird. That's crazy. But I don't think I really sit around and, like, think about anybody on social media and be like, damn. Yeah, not for sure. Because even, like, when it comes to, like, celebrities and shit, like, people, like, um, like, artists and shit like that or people with influence, I don't really put too much liking into them just because I know, like, they're regular-ass people. And most of the time, mm -hmm. ah, groupie much? <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> nah, He's but, my groupie. <laughs> mm. Please. Anyways. <laughs> Um, yeah, like, a lot of the people that, like, you think are, like, so high up there are just regular-ass, lame-ass people, and, like, they're yep. boring, mm -hmm. they don't have, like, nothing more to them than, like, the people that, like, they need to be thinking down, they think they're all that because they got following this shit, that's what Charlie be thinking about some other people, not about me, because, you know, I don't really be thinking too much or doing too much, honestly, but solar eclipse is coming up, do you got your glasses ready? <sighs> no, I'm going to ask Leslie for some. <sighs> I'm asked Leslie's dad. What's well, supposed to be like a, what is it, like a lunar eclipse or something? No, solar. 
It's the solar one is the sun where the sun covers up. Oh yeah, yeah. It's supposed to be <clears throat> supposedly supposed to be dark for like what a day? Twenty seven days or like a couple hours? <laughs> no, bitch, like minutes. No. Oh. Four minutes. Four oh, minutes. yeah. Thirty She's days like, of darkness. <laughs> She's not ready for that vampires to come out of you, bitch. Because if you go, I was ready to fall in love with one. If you go on TikTok and everything, people are like, "Make sure you're prepared." And like, well, girl, like, did you not see how like oh, people were going crazy that one time when we ran out of gas because somebody said we we're running out of gas <laughs> and toilet paper and water and shit. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. That was crazy. And it was it stayed like that for a minute too, like like a week. It right? did, it did. Everything was all back to normal. It wasn't even cold no more and shit. Like, okay. Nobody had no toilet paper. I was, <laughs> I was like, mm, no. Nope. We had to all go out on the grass and shit. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, not me, not on my back. <laughs> I thought y'all would have, cause y'all are the west side. Nah, but I think that's pretty cool. I don't think I ever really like experienced the eclipse. <laughs> I'm not here on Earth every other time that there's been an eclipse. It's I remember that one that just passed through, like... Like, four, four years ago? No, I don't think it was four years ago. It was, like, what, a year ago or something? Didn't they just... There there was one? Yeah, like, oh. where you can look on the floor and you can see, like, the shadow and stuff. That's, like, the movie everybody Veronica. Was like posting, everybody was, like, posting about it and stuff. I don't know. I guess I don't have people that go outside on mine that I was following. I didn't see it. My thing's leaking. She's she's all talking about blowing up this whole time. I don't know. I guess I didn't experience. Oh, do you remember when the broom thing? It was like the brooms. It was during COVID, and the brooms were like, like do y'all do y'all remember? Like the brooms, like you put them standing like this, and they stayed standing up by themselves. Allah, y'all don't remember? You do, right? Um, viewers, let us know in the comments if you do. But yeah, it was like this whole thing, and that's why people were like talking about it because after twenty twenty. They were like, damn, like, what if we, were, like, opened up a portal by making yeah. <laughs> the brooms? Now you remember? No, I don't remember the, that. I remember people talking about that, though, like, with that por- that portal they were trying to open. Um, oh, they that they were saying it. it was, like, Stranger Things? Yeah. On, like, 4th of July, right, or something, they were opening it? On July 2nd? Oh, yes, it was called some shit. I forgot. It was, like, Russian, no? Yeah, like, the company, yeah. They're opening some portals. I don't fucking know. They're opening some portals, though. Speaking of that, I I don't know who we were watching or what they were, who was talking, but they were talking about the moon landing. Oh. Typical um, podcast convo type who the, shit. Who but the fuck was talking about it? I don't um, know. Credit to them. Fo, but was it Faux? No, because I wasn't there. It's going to bother I, me now. I, I leave my AirPod there to hear it and all that shit. Who was it? It was no, home. it wasn't. It was a podcast. And they were talking about the, the the flag. Yes. Oh, uh. It was um La Platica. T- yeah, la, yeah. It was La Platica. But I was like, I was, I was thinking about it too, though, when we were watching it and shit. But I wanted to save it. Like this whole time, I've been telling this bitch not to talk, not to tell me no stories or nothing like that. Like just save it for the podcast because, damn, we need to talk about big backs. Because. <laughs> Oh my god, let's talk about big bags. Like I know I have a big bag, but it's still like it's my face. It's it's a little like it hurts my feelings every time I see myself on camera. Like don't care. Oh my god. Like it's giving real torta. How do you feel when people call you torta? Mm. She's all nobody calls me that. No, I've had people call me that like if I call it. Yeah. Um but I don't give a fuck because tortas get ate too bitch. Yeah. It doesn't hurt. Honestly, the first time I got, I don't care. I never got caught a torta until this year. Cause you started hanging out with me, <laughs> right? I'm like, oh fuck. They're like, you know what? <laughs> Might as well. No, I've never been caught that. Like, um, well, I've never been caught that in person. <laughs> just, just online. <laughs> Sorry if you can't really. Add her. <laughs> no, I don't think anybody's caught me torta. Um, anyways, this is a story about me. So, uh, no, so I never been called um, a torta in person, but just in the comments. But I think it was just because, um, I think, like, ending of last year, like, in November is my first time, like, going, like, viral, but on Instagram. Mm -hmm. So, like, on Instagram, you know, like, people always say, like, in the TikTok comments and shit, like, post this on Reels, post this on Instagram. Because on Instagram, like, the Instagram Reels, bitch, they are ruthless. Ruthless records. Bitch, like they, they don't care. Bitch, you could you could post like your grandma just died and your parents died in an explosion and then they'll be like, look at her, look at smoking, her wig. smoking on your parent pack, like yeah, you know, like look at her wig. 
<laughs> look at her wig. Her wig. <laughs> Be like, uh, lace front <laughs> much, bitch. Yeah. yeah, like. So on there, like, they're just real ruthless and shit. But, um, yeah, so they called me a torta this um, year or whatever the fuck. But I was actually honored because I'm like, ah, like, oh, my God, I've never been called a torta. And I liked it. Like, I like me, my big bitches. Yeah. I love my big bitches, my thick bitches, my fat bitches, like. All bitches, honestly. Not all bitches. <laughs> not all bitches. <laughs> I'm not a gross girl, <laughs> Eric, because some bitches She's just, not. like, no. They're not elite employees, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, I kind of like being called a torta, and I would recommend it. And that's my Try problem, it. too, with, like, having a big back. My problem is I just don't give a fuck. Like, I don't. You shouldn't. I just shouldn't. No, as I shouldn't, but I should. A little bit. It started It started to get to the point <laughs> that, goddamn bitch, like, you're not a little concerned. Like, you should be. Oh, should. Because I'm just getting a little too, No, you know? I should give a fuck. But, yeah, because I'll be sitting there thinking, like, you know, like, when them 3 a.m. thoughts hit. Not the thoughts, but, like, the actual, like, <laughs> the, the mind in your ones. brain. Um, hit Come you on, and yeah, they're like, yeah. get, you, get your life together type shit. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to get my life together and all this bullshit. I'm going to start working now. Like, oh, like, I want this type. Like, trying to set goals in my mind for my body and shit. Look at me being a big back about a burp because we just fucking <laughs> ate. <laughs> Bitch. Oh, and let me. What? In the west side is the only place that you're going to go to a Chinese place and get a Mexican to take your order. <laughs> get a Mexican with a thick-ass accent at right? that, I'm too. Like, what? <laughs> she like, almost told us gracias instead of, like, uh, thank you. Like, yeah, like, ni hao kai la and type shit. Like, but, I just thought that was funny, but that's, like, definitely, that mean like... Hi. Huh? Does that mean hi? Like, hello? Ni hao kai I don't know, Miss Philly. Bitch. <laughs> She's a real Philadelphia. Philip Philippian. These bitches <laughs> changed the group chat to four beans and one Philly because there's four of them are Mexican and I'm Filipino and I'm over here like, bitch, I'm not from Philadelphia. The fuck? Because why would y'all spell it with a PH? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Why would y'all spell it with a PH? It's not y'all, it's me. It's PH y'all. because it's not how Filipino starts, PH. Yeah, but when you spell Filipino, it's with a, a F. <laughs> It's Philippines with the PH, but oh. Filipino is with the F. What? That's you're blowing like. my fucking mind. I thought Filipino was like P H I L I N O. <laughs> oh, Philly. <It's> <laughs> this bitch don't even know how to spell it. I can't, bitch. I'm not Aquila in the B. I'm sorry. I'm Eliza and K, not Aquila. But yeah, um, big backs for the win. I feel like. Uh, oh, speaking of big backs, gonna we're going to have a car me. <laughs> oh, hello. Nobody's going to want to come now. <laughs> so, yeah, April 7th, we're having a car meet. Look at this pillow. Would you consider, like, a car show? Um, Yeah, I would say, like, a car show. We're going to have, like, vendors. We're going to be doing a car wash. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be doing a car wash <laughs> to raise funds for D-Baby to come back to San Antonio again. <laughs> we're going to go to a room right. for the night. Um. No, there's gonna be like vendors and stuff. We're gonna have it at what, home plate. Yeah, shout April out 7th. home plate. Yeah, shout out home plate. Shout out home plate. We're gonna do April seventh at home plate. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, I'm trying to do it like during the day, like throughout the night, like throughout the evening. I was thinking bit, like, like I thought you were like like mid midday. Yeah, well, bitch, even at that, like if we're doing it at a home plate, like there's a stage, bitch. They can fucking do little performances and stuff. Who? You. The Edgars. What are they gonna say? They're gonna cool. study that yet? Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> we gotta hit go. Please, bitch! <laughs> Not on the new mic. We just got like this new setup. This <laughs> but yeah, again, shout out La Conecta. Get into the pillar, the mamalona read, that could. Yeah, I was gonna say read the title. Do it again. That the could. little, the little mamalona that could. Yes, could. for all the Edgars and the baby cuz. We should I have a that. story time segment one day where we read the book. Where we read the book. <laughs> where we read the book. <laughs> <laughs> okay, big lid. Well, we weed it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, no, nah, for piglet, sure. Bitch. Yeah, I did. Bitch, that's that's <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> I know. What the fuck? What'd you think? I'm thinking of the pig from Looney Tunes. <laughs> <laughs> Chill, bitch. That's for the end. That's all, folks, over here. Where he's like, oh no, the the fucking not even him, the fucking hunter. <laughs> <laughs> From Looney Tunes. 
<laughs> I knew something about the hunting. The one where he's like, I'm hunting rabbits. Okay, well, I wasn't. Obviously, bitch. <laughs> this bitch said piglet. I just said, like, the first pig that came to mind. <laughs> I'm my Charlotte's <laughs> web. <laughs> this bitch. She's so dumb. What do you think about Edgar culture? Um, I love it. I'm here for it. I support it. Yeah. I like Mexicans. What do you think about it? I love it. I love it so much. But one thing I don't like, um, well, not that I don't like. First off, let me backtrack a little. Reverse, reverse. You know what I'm saying? Um, Edgar started in San Antonio. Oh, yeah. That's that. Like, like Edgar's were, they're born, bred. They breed here for bread. In San Antonio. Bread. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's it yeah. doesn't give anything else other than San Antonio. Like, even yeah. when there's, like, Edgar's in, like, Cali or, like, Oh my god, you know that always like makes me like wonder when there's like Mexicans in like South Dakota. Bitch, what the fuck are you doing in South Dakota? <laughs> How the fuck did you get there? What the fuck? Or like there's like Mexicans and shit in England. Yeah. <laughs> Show me right now. <laughs> that was our Indian and shit. Hello, yeah, retro. Hello, you call. Hola. <laughs> retro. Hola. Hola. You can see this and fucking start editing pictures of us. I don't care, retro. I want all the smoke. Real shit. That's her. But yeah, I know. Um, so San Antonio birthed the Edgars. But I do love the um, Edgar culture. And I feel like that's like, it's really Mexican culture. It's like Mexican as fuck. But it does get on my nerves a little when people like try to like make fun of it. Or like, I'm getting emotional. I would imagine. <laughs> no, <about> Edgar's. <laughs> yeah, right. no, or like they like they try to downplay it or like discredit it and shit. Because mm. I just feel like no, nah, like why would you? Like Edgar's are important. Edgar's matter. Your whole honestly, culture, bitch. Uh, honestly, I feel like when I describe uh, La Conecta in general, I'm like, yeah, for like all the cuz and the Edgars, like that's what they do. Yeah. I don't know if y'all saw, but when we were on the way to that um, Descalor, there was a girl with the La Conecta sticker on her on her um, Truck. window. Yeah. And I was like, look, they don't even I'm know that La Conecta is in front of us right now. Yeah. <laughs> they don't even know. They're right there. Yeah. But it's really dope. Yeah. <laughs> I'm off. Live it. Live it. No. I really love it. So shout out all my Edgars. Honestly, what do you think my type is? It cracks me I up. I tell you, I'm bitch, I don't really know your type, but I know what's not your type. What's not my Clean. type? Clean. <laughs> no, um, well, no, yeah, you like, you say yourself, you like guys that like by me. No, bitch, I said I just don't like the, like, clean cut. Like, I don't like pretty boys. Uh, yeah, she don't like pretty boys. I don't like pretty um, boys, but, like, that doesn't mean that I don't like them to no. take fucking showers and take care of them. Lately, else. though, lately, because when we first, like, became cool, I would be like, oh, he's cute, and he'd be like, bitch. And then you would be like, oh, he's cute, and I'd be like, ew, bitch. But now, recently, we've been like, oh, he's cute. Like, oh, like, we can see, like, mm, with some guys, but overall, we do not have that I was, time. I was really honored when you told me the other day, that you can't wait to see the day that I, like, really, like, how did you say it? Like, to really, like, call out, like, a dude out and be like, damn, he's oh, fine. Yeah, you know, because yeah, I really yeah, don't yeah. be. Because me and Kay and everybody, we the first ones to be like, oh, he's cute. Oh, I'm he wife fine. material. He fine, he fine. And then, bitch, I'm wife material. <laughs> um, oh. But, but oh, we'll be like, oh, he's cute or whatever, but Liza... She won't really be like, oh, he's cute, like, oh, he's fine, or something about a guy. Yeah, I just, like, don't, like, do that to men. You know, I see them as human people. I don't devalue them. <laughs> Y'all should hear how this bitch talk about D-Baby. <laughs> I don't just see them as, like, their outer body. Yeah. I look into their souls and their like, spirit and their aura. They have souls. Eh, no, nah, I'm just playing. Nah, um, I'll be the first one to, to be like, oh, that's... That's who. That's not a man, bitch. That's my hoe. You know what I'm saying? Literally. But I don't know. Like, I just don't be, like, running across guys that really make me be like, ah! Like, ooh, ah, yeah. ah, ah. You know what I'm saying? I don't think, yeah, yeah. like, any of us really be crazy like that over them, though. Like, oh, no, yeah, fine. no. We'll just be like, oh, he's cute. Yeah. Maybe do a little take, but I'm not going to go up to him and be like, oh, yeah, you're Never fine. break my neck the way that guys break yeah. their necks. 
That's ever. literally crazy. Ever. And that shit is cringy as fuck, too. Like, you'll never get a girl by breaking your neck. That bitch gotta be thrown off. Because if you do that in to every us, way, we're gonna think included. you do it. We, you do it to everybody that you see. You walk by. Yeah, I know it's ugly. It makes guys look like ostriches and shit. Mm. And then hot Cheeto girls. What about them? Your thoughts? Oh, they're my thoughts. <laughs> uh, bitch, <laughs> you better value my hot no Cheeto kidding. girls. No, I like. I love hot Cheeto girls. You honestly look like you could have been a hot Cheeto girl in your. I previous was lifestyle. A hot girl. Uh, what is a hot cheeto girl to you? Well, the term hot cheeto girl, if you look up the le- the definition, all right. Nah, I think like in general, hot cheeto girls are like the girls that are like the like the loud ones, like yeah. just like all in your face and like, sir, if you tell me, you gotta tell her too, and then like yeah, like red yeah, fingers. Yeah. But let me not say no. too much because I kind of still have like. Dynamites <laughs> in my <laughs> fingers. <clears throat> no, I wasn't a hot cheeto girl, but I definitely went to school with a lot of them. Yeah. I was bad as fuck, but I wasn't, like, annoying like that. Like, oh, you think they're annoying? Like, well, some um, of them, yeah. some of them, like, be Like the stereotypical ones. Like, yeah, the, ones the ones that be trying, trying to impress hard. boys and shit, yeah. those ones are annoying. <clears throat> but there's some girls who are, like, genuinely funny as fuck. Like, yeah. I know a lot of hot cheeto girls who would like stand and they're up. big, right? Yeah, are like the yeah, funny ones are big. big. The, the yeah, funny, like the funny real fit. life funny, like cool ones were big. Good. Yeah, for sure. No, for sure. Yeah, that's why I love my big bitches. I'm telling you, like they be funny. They would never really be doing the most. Like they just be minding their business. It's also our fucking legs. <laughs> I know. All of us. Nah. Um. I get. I get told that. People tell me that that I'm a hot cheeto girl, but I don't think I'm a hot cheeto girl. I know I'm not a hot cheeto girl. I feel like you're quiet wrong with in school. It. Like you were just like there to just be there in school. No, well, it just depended on who I was around. Cause I was, I had like the same way that I am now. Like I can be a class clown and loud and funny, ah, or I can just be like I had my earphones in and I was just in class to be counted present, so my mama wouldn't go to like no court or nothing like that. Exactly. Like it just depends. Cause I'm like always been real like choosy about my energy and choosy about like who i went to be able to experience me honestly yeah i don't know do you think we would have been cool if we met like in school probably yeah not. i feel like we would have been cool. so? yeah i don't think we would have been close but i feel like we would have been like- oh we we would have bonded over um we we have a an ex we have, <laughs> we have the same ex <laughs> <laughs> literally so i'm sitting there like barbecue sauce on my titties <laughs> right no so i'm sitting there we're at um a bar i don't want to shout out every fucking <laughs> establishment <laughs> chingo because let's not even get into Promo. our time at that bar chingo chingo love san antonio language um yeah so we're sitting there at the bar and i'm like oh my god like it's so crazy because i have this one dude that i was like sore in love with in high school like my little first love and everything i, mean, I, I was probably just a whole nother bitch to him but like in my mind in my fairy no, tale of life that was before stinker but baby that was that was my little peach, you know what I'm saying? That was my little plum. Loved him, loved him. Damn, bitch. Anyways, I'm all getting into it, as you can tell. Yeah, I said enough. <laughs> so, yeah, so, bada boom, bada bam. I ain't talked to him since, like, high school, right? I'm all blocked still to this day. And I see he's getting this married. Is crazy. I see he's getting married. And so, that was a while back. Then I see he's not getting married. <laughs> like, literally, like, engagement all off and shit like that. I don't even want to. Y'all can probably imagine what type of guy he is if I say engaged and married and, and, and caught off. Like, you can just tell <laughs> what um, ethnicity they are when they say it like that. <laughs> Caucasian. You know what I'm saying? Uh, not seasoned at all. So I go to show her. I, mind you, I'm showing her his Facebook, right? No name, no nothing. Just the picture. She'll be like, oh, that's Woo Woo. That's Woo Woo last name. <laughs> bitch, I damn near ran across that fucking bar. Because I was like, bitch, how the fuck do you know? Like, no, you lying. Because we had already established we kind of knew similar people. Yes. And I don't she know. went to the school alone. I went to Southwest. I went yeah. to Southwest High School. And you went to? I went to Stevens, but I bounced around everywhere. Yeah, she was a basketball, pretty much. <laughs> so then she tells me and then we like 
Another oh, day, talk so, about it. So you know, so and so. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. how you know? Oh, so oh, they know so and so, and I know so and so. Bitch, you know so and so too, bitch. Yes. Yeah. So then we're talking about it another day, and girl, don't we line up the dates? This one was with us. Why we sister and why we sister <laughs> wives? <laughs> Literally, I'm like, oh my Literally. god, like. So that's probably why we wouldn't be cool in school, bitch. Because <laughs> I, I was literally so delusional. Like, I remember, like, I told my homegirl, like, at the time, shout out you, Irma. Irma. So we were, like, that was, like, my best bitch at the time or whatever the fuck. But that was my man's. And she would, like, you know, we're in school, like, just, like, little kid shit. You feel me? And so she, he would walk by. But I was, like, stiff as ever, like very fucking stiff and so when i would see him i really wouldn't say too much but he would be trying to be like oh da, 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 you know what i'm saying he's trying to play with me and then so my homegirl was be like get out of here woo woo like da, da, da. bitch i get the delusion and the crazy and all that from my mama and then just like i'm just throwed off so i was like uh, 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 uh. Mm-hmm. how to cut that shit real fucking short i literally told him i was like hey if she speaks to you, don't even fucking look at her. Don't speak to her. Like, he was like, why? What happened? To-? I was like, why do you, what do you mean why? Like, why do you need, like, a reason? You know what I'm saying? He, he listened because she tried to do it again and he did not pay her no fucking mind. Because I feel like it wouldn't have been, I'm not going to check my bitch on it. Yeah. Because it wasn't that deep. But on your end. But on, on end. his end, like, yeah. why are you going to sit there and be like, he, he, really? like, because, no. But. Yeah, that was kind of like my story about him and her and how um, we Ice, know each other. Ice, <laughs> Ice knew it. No, me and Ice actually know each other. We met each other like what, like a year ago? Yeah. Literally, we've only been like known each other for a year. It feels like forever. Though. It does, bitch, because we're low-key like twinsies. We're synced. Oh my God, man. But yeah. We're literally synced. Like a, like... We're literally two peas because we're pea bodies in a podcast. <laughs> two peas in a pod. <laughs> Bitch, how do you feel being a woman with a dream? <laughs> yeah, I'm Martin Luther King. That's Martin Luther King's wife, <laughs> bitch. Um, what does Aching go? <laughs> Pageant? She's all pretty. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> You guys sounds like we're underwater. Love on the day. What does that even mean? What? Um, I don't know. What does that mean? Like, you. I mean, <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> He's like, you play the music. <laughs> Chingu, you should have seen Avid. He acted like I was a fucking T Rex. He said like this. We just saw his eyes moving. That's why I was like, "Yo, <laughs> hello, stranger. What does melopena mean? You would not. It's probably a fucking Mexican term. <laughs> oh fucking Mexicans God. always coming up with words, <laughs> trying to confuse me. <laughs> I know when you're not from here." <laughs> Dude, speaking of that, I saw this video. <laughs> what? Speaking of that. And this is how about, what does it mean? I don't care about any of them. Who's them? Ooh, me la pelan. Fucking Mexican. Like, fuck them. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, like, like, like that, fuck them. Right. <laughs> okay, so we are going to be wrapping it up today. Um, but before we go... We do <clears throat> want to just discuss some of the things that y'all can expect um, coming up. Uh, like I said, we got the car meet April at 7th. Home Plate, April 7th. That's a Sunday, so y'all better be there. Um, and then we have <clears throat> our room, our podcast room coming up as well. So we'll actually, instead of being like sitting on a couch and stuff, we'll actually have a room with like a desk and, you know, the whole shebang. Um, shebang, bang, boogie. Um, what else? Uh, Fiesta. Y'all can catch us out there at Fiesta soon when the parades and everything starts going on. Market starts getting popping. We're going to be out there doing some little interviews. So, yeah, look for us. 
Might get, get lucky ready. and get um, some questions asked. Get your interview cherry popped. Be ready. Yeah. We're going to have vlogs, mookie bangies, interviews, story times, whole lots of... Oh, and also, uh, sometime, whole lot of yeah. <laughs> some, um, sometime coming up, we do want to go to the Pulga, um, probably Poteet, where we're just going to go and sh- buy some shit, go test out some drinks. Dad, y'all come dance with us. Um, we'll probably have um, our camera guy there have it as well, recording. So, y'all come out, party with us, and La Conecta, and watch your tongue, and all of that, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So make sure y'all stay tuned in. We're going to give it to you hot and fresh and ready every Thursday. So make sure mm-hmm. you're tapped in, tuned every in. Thursday. Get it right. And you know what it is. Till next time, don't be sorry, ho. Be careful. And when you're talking to us, remember, watch your tone. Ooh, 1K. Later.